George Brock said, there is only one thing that matters in art, that which cannot be explained. Maybe it's just 2021, but um, I feel a little tired of men making large declarations. I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that there might be more things that matter in art. However, having said that, uh, it's a worthwhile quote because it, it does actually point to something um, that, I, that I've always been fascinated with, which is that art is mysterious even to the person creating it. Um, we've been working a lot, obviously, with prompts and and a schedule and and you know in that regard art's not particularly mysterious you just do this a lot and you get better at it you do it and naturally you encounter parts of your work that that really fly for you or they really fly for other people you know and then you encounter parts of your work that fall dead for you or they fly for you but they fall dead for other people or they fall dead for you but they fly for other people and and in this way recursively you're able to get a better handle on what's good but there is even as simple as that process is and as mundane as that process is there are always these mysteries in the middle of your art and that's i think that's part of the beauty of it so um i just wanted to point to one that i'm familiar with because i've been explaining it for a long time so i wrote a tune called sad 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 i'm far away from home and I've been playing, you know, it's it's one of my hits, if I have hits. And, um, man, I just used air quotes. Oh, it's been a long pandemic. Anyway, um, I've been playing it because it's one of my more popular tunes. I've been playing it, you know, at uh, events where, like, uh, you know, like the like it's a 20th anniversary label celebration or, or, or it's, uh, you know... Um, a place where I'm only playing one tune and where there's a pickup band. I've had occasion to uh, many, many times sort of briefly chart this one out for a bass player. And um, there's this thing that I've noticed, uh, which is if you were charting it out, you'd go like, Houdini's still stuck in that Dr. Rule book, the one place he can never escape. So it'd be like one, one, four, one, one, four, and your voice on the phone is like four, one, one, five, one. Only it's, um, what is that? I guess it's a B and then a B flat underneath the five chord of B, which is, of course, help me, help me, help me. Uh, F sharp with a B flat in the bass. Yeah. Anyway, my point is, that's the form. Uh, and then the, the B section of the tune is, uh, you know, six, six, so that's real straight ahead. But and that's the whole tune, and it repeats three times, and then there's kind of like that light DD part. So it's pretty easy to chart out, but I've learned over the years to say, okay, I don't know why, but in the second verse, in the B section, instead of going six, 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 and one, five, five, instead, for some reason, it goes six, 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 one, 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 five. Five. Like, for some reason, it jumps back onto the one chord earlier. And, you know, any reasonably good bass player by this time is sort of like a mom. They're just like, okay, whatever, I'm rolling with this. Um, you know, the fractious, hard-to-herd songwriters. Uh, we are, we just do what we do. But I thought of that forever, like, why? Why is it um, in the first B section, it's, um, and the girl across the street, she is light on her feet, she is sunlight bouncing off chrome, and in the last one, it's, uh, for the seashore cries out for a painted, a painted, and the wind whips the water into foam, 
But in the middle B section, it's... Oh, and once I was 11, and once I was just atoms, and once I was a hilltop in Rome. Why? I don't know, because it just is. And it leapt out at me that way when I wrote it. It just seemed natural to do it that way. Uh, you know, is there something in it that the, the word in question is the word atoms? You know, I want to was just atoms. Like, is there something so fundamental and foundational about the word atoms that we have to go back to the one chord? I don't know. At that point, I'd be making, making stuff up. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, George Brock, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Um, and for all of us students of the lates and the greats, you know, when you find a little quirk like that in your work, I would say cherish it. Notice it and cherish it. It's like a burl in a tree. It, it, it reinforces the idea that art is really just as creaturely as anything, as a blade of grass, as a tree. It just happens, and it just has patterns in it. And they arise from us, which is to say, from nature. All right, thanks. See you down the road.